Welcome back to another makeup lesson. Today we're going to create a classic party look. This is for so many different occasions and it's really easy to create as well. Let's get started. So as with every look that we create, we always want to start off with a clean base and to do that you want to use a primer. So you can either mix your primer with your concealer or you can use a tinted primer. This one by Urban Decay it's a classic. It's one of my absolute favorites. It's my kind of go-to. Basically, all you want to do is just apply this all over the lid. It will create a blank canvas for us to work on, disguise any discoloration, while also helping your eyeshadows last longer because it gives them something to hold on to, which is a really important part. Now let's recap on parts of the eye because I always get asked about this. So I like to split the eye into three sections. The lid, the crease area, this is where the lid creases into the eye shape. And then the brow bone, which is technically not the brow bone, it's just underneath the brows. I then like to split the lid into three sections as well. So we have an inner, a middle, and an outer. And then you have your three liner areas. So we have your waterline, which is the lower part that you can see. We have the tight line or the upper waterline, which is underneath. And then we also have your lash line, which is that line across right by your lashes. And these are the kind of main areas that you apply liner. To create any eye makeup look, I usually use about four different eyeshadows. A highlight, a contour, and a mid-tone. Your mid-tone is basically in between your light and your dark. And then I also have a fade shade. Don't get scared, it's okay, we're only gonna apply a very small amount of it, but it does make a big difference, and I'll explain why in a bit. Now for brushes, you really only need like two or three. A blending brush and a pencil brush, now I would recommend having actually two blending brushes, but that's optional. One for applying, one for blending, just so you don't muddy up your look. And then also a flat brush. This is for cutting the crease. You don't plan on cutting your crease, you can always use your fingertips for what we're gonna do later. So there's all your tools. Now let's start applying. So we're gonna start off with our mid-tone and we're gonna use our blending brush. You always wanna make sure you're using your blending brush for your mid-tone to create that really soft effect. Now a lot of people refer to this as a transition shade, totally fine. I call it mid-tone because it's a middle tone, but it's totally up to you. You're going to blend this over and back and slowly build this up because your lid's going to be a little tacky. If you go in with too much eyeshadow to begin with, it's just going to grab hold of certain areas and not blend. You also want to hold your brush in the center of the handle and keep it at about eye level, so a little higher than normal, and sweep this over and back in the crease. Don't worry if it looks kind of muddy on the lid, that's totally fine. Just make sure that blend upwards towards the brow bone is nice and smooth. Your contour is next, and this should be at least one shade darker than your skin tone. You're going to apply this with the smaller of the brushes that we've been using, and I want you to tap this. So literally hold the brush right in the center to get maximum control and just tap this on that outer edge. So the outer third of the lid. Then take your clean blending brush. Holding it right down the end of the brush, sweep this over and back just to soften out any harsh lines. So this is just going to basically deepen the crease and just apply a little bit more of a depth look so when we cut the crease it's going to look even sharper. Okay, now we're going to cut the crease. So you're going to take your concealer brush with a little bit of concealer on it. So just follow the natural shape or create the illusion of a shape of a lid. And you can rest your pinky on your cheek for support. And what I do is I barely touch the skin as I go around the edges and then pull it downwards across the lid. We're gonna move on to now applying our highlighter using that same brush and we're gonna go over everything that we've already cut. So you're basically gonna create kind of a sharper effect, a brighter effect, and your highlighter is gonna go on much nicer. So now we have a divide between that inner corner and the outer corner. So what we want to do is to create a fade. So we're going to use our fade shade. Take it on a blending brush and just apply this right where the two of them meet. And you can also blend this into the crease as well. At least that's my take on a fade shade. I don't think anybody else knows what it is, except for me and you guys. But it's awesome. We can also apply the glitter just to add a little bit of fun. We're going to apply it over everything that we've already applied, starting in the middle of the lid and then blending outwards and inwards. Next, we're going to go in with liner. Don't panic. All we're going to do is just run along the lash line. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy, no wing. I'm also going to apply lots and lots of mascara. Your contour is next, and push this right underneath those lashes. I've already applied 
lower lash mascara already. So we're basically just creating the illusion of a deeper effect. And there you go. That is the finished look. I hope that 